Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of Gaming Backlog, a mini podcast where we talk about anything and everything gaming. I'm Shell, and here with me is... Bina, and today we're talking about cat games. <laughs> yes, Bina, I love this episode already. Because, <laughs> well, recently, uh, if you are updated with our page, um, our YouTube short review for Little Kitty Big City just blew up, and... Yeah, it's it's been a thing. Yeah, it's wild. Like it just it just blew up out of nowhere and we absolutely enjoyed playing that game. So, you know, it got us thinking, is there any other cat games that Stray 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 Yes. You okay, Venus? Yes. I I am I just I just I just love Stray. I I played the game and I love it so much. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I got really excited because you just said cat game and I'm pretty sure in the last few years, people have come to think of Stray as sort of a quintessential cat game. Yeah, honestly, like, you know, like, to me too, like, when you when you say cat game, the first thing that comes to my mind is Stray. <laughs> and I've been, dude, I've been dying to play it ever since um, the announcements came out. Because, like, my best friend, when I think it was years ago, I think, like, when they first advertised Stray, um, like... He just messaged me and shared, yo, look at this. And it's like a cat game and you're just a cat being around the city, just being a cat. I'm like, oh my god, it's so I mean, cute. What and I, to I love. just want it. I just want it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just immediately in love and I just want to play it. It is adorable and stuff. And like, I was able to finish the game. And like I said, I really enjoyed it. And it's really cool because we've seen a lot of humans or just humanoid people navigating a very classic post-apocalyptic world setting in video games but you know we never really expect to see it through a cat's eyes as a like some kind of like an unexpected narrator and in Stray you follow a cat who's kind of been separated from its family when it falls into a lost city where humanity is kind of nowhere to be found it's I don't know it's kind of it's kind of like Alice in Wonderland if you think if you want to think about Ooh. it that way and that's an interesting <laughs> that's an interesting comparison because it is kind of like down the rabbit hole and then you have to go back up again and it's just there's so many like really cool aspects in it and of course one of the cool aspects is the cat and the mm. thing is cat was a cat and cats are naturally adorable and it didn't <laughs> talk at all but it did have it always had these simple gestures and behaviors that made way for a lot of um endearing scenes in the game yeah actually you know i'm actually glad that stray like you play as an actual cat like the playable character is like an actual cat and <laughs> not an anthropomorphic <gasps> i said it right you, <gasps> i said it right <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you have no idea how, like, I've been fumbling from, for, from that word the entire day. Oh my god, I It was like it anthropomorph... Right. An Anth oh, 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 fudge. <laughs> and Anthrop it's gone. <laughs> Most of the cat games that I know, at least, um, it's, they're mostly anthropomorphic. They're, like, humanoid, human-like cats. You, like, you can talk, you can walk on two legs. Um, like, I don't think... I can think of any other cat game that's like uh, that you're just like an actual cat meowing. I mean, yeah, because when you think of anthropomorphic, you got it. Mm -mm. Cat, <laughs> uh, it's a struggle that cost a lot of my body. Anyway, um, I kind of think of Night in the Woods. I haven't played it, but I did see the art, and it's kind of gorgeous in a way. And I don't know. And uh, speaking of gorgeous, the setting, the graphics of Stray are so beautiful. The places, especially, I don't know if you've seen the cities in the trailers and stuff. It just feels so grounded and unique at the same time. It's got this really vibrant spin to a, a post-apocalyptic world. A good marriage of uh, what nature left behind and what humans have kind of left behind. And it's a cool contrast to, like I said, it's a cool contrast to the cat's home above where nature is abundant and untouched by humanity and just let to grow on its own and kind of intertwining into what remains of the surface and of civilization. Yeah, when I saw the adverts for Stray, um, it kind of it kind of looks like a cyberpunk-ish city. As yeah, that's the term. Yes. Yeah, it's like a cyberpunk-ish city. Like, um, it's like a lot of uh, robots and and stuff. Like, are there even like cute nap spots in the city that you can do? Because in the little kitty big city, like, uh, there are some. So it's funny you mentioned nap spots because there are a lot. I think uh, what made me derail from doing the main quest of the game was because I was look I get distracted by nap spots and I just watch <laughs> the cat just take a well-deserved nap and just, just just fall asleep and 
like everything is calm. <laughs> oh, one of my favorite nap spots is if that's a thing is there is this spot where you can kind of sleep next to a musician and that musician can just kind of play music for you as you take your well-deserved nap and it's it's so atmospheric and so cool oh no uh no no i would really want to play it but yeah and it is really fun because the gameplay is simple and the story is straightforward but the journey is kind of filled with a lot of experiences that kind of enrich what is a simple journey and the way everything is directed in your surroundings makes it really easy to follow like um there are a lot of visual cues to kind of help you especially when you're on the run and just running away from zerks or exploring because you are sometimes really filled with uh oh, zerks are like tiny little evil thingamabobs that try to eat the cat so i hate them so much uh, what? screw the zerks so sometimes when you're really adrenaline pumping you have it's you have to really be quick on your feet and the cool thing with stray is they give enough visual cues to kind of guide you where to go and yeah the game has a lot of simple features but kind of shakes them up in a different way or in different ways throughout the story to keep things like interesting i have to say though um yeah i got lost a lot but i think that's <laughs> more of a me issue than the game issue i mean okay i mean for the premise that it is like you 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 get lost that you get your cat that's lost right so it's kind of a um it's kind of a given that you don't have a map maybe or like a mini map i guess i, I know i'm like i know we're talking about stray right now but i do want to interject because like um little kitty big city is kind of the same <laughs> i got lost a lot <laughs> Okay, oh sitting. no no yeah i'm shaking like, your dude. hand I'm shaking. yeah like i don't I, I, either it's not it's not a skill issue or it's just like yeah it's both of our skill issues i guess it's just, it's just an hour <laughs> issue um so, to you guys who are listening right now if you guys have played stray and little kitty big city and you know you got to memorize the map pretty quickly good for you good for you <laughs> yeah go ahead did it. Try I did then it. <laughs> be well but yeah, it's it's a very short game and <clears throat> it also feels like a project that has a lot of heart and thought into it and mm. I really did not expect to get so emotional while playing. Um, oh. Especially, I won't spoil too much, but especially towards the end, it was just such a heartwarming story and honestly, I, I think it's worth it because it is short but it has all these elements and I, you kind of want to go back to it and just I just want to 100% the game if I can because there are just so many fun things happening around you at the same time. Yeah, funny you say that because that's the exact same feeling that I have with Little Key Big City after I played it. Like, um, like, like I did finish- I also finished the main story in Little Bitty- Little B <laughs> I also finished the main quest for Little Kitty Big City and um, I have in 100% the achievements and I like I also want to go back to it and also it's kind of funny because um, when you were talking about a um, uh, little kitty big what no huh whoa, whoa. <laughs> what little you were talking kitty. about stray <laughs> I am lost in the sauce right now I'm so sorry <laughs> well but you mean, were stray is a little kitty in a big city so I, I get the confusion yeah that's true it's like um, it's like little kitty big city is also the same premise well it's also the same premise as stray because like um, little kitty big city um, it starts Starts with your adorable little black cat and you're just napping in your favorite spot in the world and then you stretch and then you accidentally fall and a lot no. of things happen to you and then next thing you know you're in someone's trash bin in like in the middle of the city away from your home <laughs> like oh my god oh no <laughs> not gonna lie yeah it was pretty cute that intro was pretty cute but it was a little stressful because like oh my god oh no <laughs> so yeah pretty cute but also stressful <laughs> and yeah, like when Little Kitty Big City officially launched, like um, our review video just like blew up, and that was the only that that review video uh, we only tried out the demo, so it's not the entire game yet. So that's like the pretty um, surface level of our review. But now that we've played it entirely, honestly, the review still stands. <laughs> like every every criteria that we uh, mentioned in the short, it kind of pretty much the same like um the first criteria is um the main character kitty duh very adorable um i will get to the graphics more in depth later but uh the art style of the kitty is just it's very cartoonish so it's like but it's like it's like oh it's so cute <laughs> So yeah, speaking of graphics, oh well, art style. Well, I can go on to the graphics now. Like um, honest, like in the initial review, we found the graphics just okay. This like um, which by the way, a lot of people in the comment section are like, 
oh, of yeah. fighting us over it. I, I, we see your comments. Just just letting you know, guys. We see your comments. We see y'all. Um, people have been saying that you know, like they don't agree with what we say because, like, you know, like that's the point of the graphics. And yes, we agree. That's why um, I was like, the graphics are okay because. Um, well, for the main characters, at least, um, the cat and the creatures that cat um, meet along the way, like, they're very cutely drawn, they're, uh, they're adorable, they're amazing, it looks very cute. But the rest of the city, like, the map and the people, like, they, <laughs> the people don't have faces, so... <laughs> <laughs> like they're they're all simply drawn in a, in this very cutesy art style and it really um fits the cutesy vibe although there are some jankiness and glitches it's mostly on the camera though like on the camera angles when you're trying to get um, a good view of the cat and maybe around the city yeah it's not too debilitating like i can still manage to um have like cinematic views of um certain spots in the city Ooh, you got like special nav spots as well <laughs> Funny you say that. <laughs> yeah, funny you say that. Yeah, uh, Little Kitty Big City has nap spots as well. Um, I do want to ask though, in Stray, are the nap spots, like, is there like achievements when you get like a certain number of nap spots or something or like a special nap spot? I have not a hundred percent or done enough like raking through everything to really know, but I'm pretty sure there should, there should be. I mean, they're all really fun to find. Another really fun one was like, uh, you could actually sleep on the chest of a robot who just like wakes up and goes up. Oh, okay, I guess this is my life. Sleep well, <laughs> cat. Because, like, yeah, I, I asked that because um, in Little Kitty Big City, um, finding nap spots or a certain number of nap spots is an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> and there are a lot of um, nap spots in this city. And it's funny because it's um, it's kind of easy to spot the nap spots because there's going to be a beam of light with glitters <laughs> like, um, to show that, ooh, that's a nap spot. Because like there's going to be that sunlight beam with glitters even if it's indoors. Every nap spot, the cat has like a different um, lying position. <laughs> and it, it's just, he's so cute. <laughs> Adorable. That's <laughs> so cute. I just want to squish its tummy. Um, <laughs> don't do that to your cats, by the way. They, they don't like that. Oh, you'll, oh, you'll never get scratched mind. or bite. Oh, sorry. So, oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> you get bitten. Um, but I would say, I, I would say my favorite nap spot in the city would be the photocopier. <laughs> it's, it's because it's, I guess it's just very cat. It's like so cute. Gameplay wise, um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, you're a cat looking for a way home while helping out new creatures along the way. Cause like there, there will be, of course it's a big city, right? So you encounter more creatures and then they'll help you. Well, they'll help you with certain like new actions or new emotes or new knowledge, anything. Like they'll help you around the city and they'll help you by you helping them. So it's like a like little side quests. So yeah, it is. It kind of feels like stray, but with a lighter tone, because you know you're just like a little ki little kitty trying to find your way home, and then you meet these um, quirky little creatures along the way. That's adorable. Well, since um, Little Kitty Big City has been getting a lot of um, hype lately, um, also, I mean, with the evidence of how much our video is blowing up. Is it worth the hype now that we've played it? I mean, it's a cute cat game, you know? Uh, don't expect too much, like way too much of it. Again, um, nothing more, nothing less. Um, you're a kitty, you get lost, you meet characters, side quest, and you get home. That's it. So um, if you're okay with spending $25-ish on this cute um, cat game, then it is worth it. I mean, to me, it is worth it because it's, it's so cute and it's very engaging. So it's worth it. <laughs> and I really, really, really want 100% the game. So, you know. Oh, nice saying we're on the same page. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love who, cats. Who knew that um, Stray and Little Kitty Big City generally are kind of the same, like in premise at least. No, no, yeah, like, it, they uh, they do deviate in certain, like, kind of branching out to certain genres and stuff. But in the end, it's about a cat looking for home and meeting people along the way to help in the journey. And it's very, it's very heartwarming. Yeah. Yeah, both, both games have, like, a lot of heartwarming elements in it. So that's also pretty cute. Honestly, I would like to have more games like these, like, cat games where you're an actual cat. So, like, you know, like, napping and, like, knocking things over. Like, 
Oh, high places. Like, oh, you knock things over too? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's actually part of the tutorial. Like, you know, like, do this <laughs> to to swipe. And I'm like, oh, and then I knocked over a plant over the edge. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was really oh, fun. Cats. Uh, to be a cat. That to was really fun. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's all the time we have. <laughs> Aww. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk more about cats, but it's fine. It's okay. More time to play play the games. It's fine. Oh, it's yeah. okay. Yeah. You have to 100% right. it, Bina. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe later. Maybe later. Yes, maybe later. Like, like, no, right come. after this. So you, viewer, who is listening right now, we are asking you again. Do you have a cat game that we didn't mention? Um... <laughs> Uh, let us you know, let us know in the comments below and like if more you cat also games. yes please give us more cat games and if you guys because I don't know any other cat games that are like Stray or Little Kitty Big City where you're like an actual cat and it's like you know so if we missed some games that are like that please please tell it in the comments below we'll totally get those games please <laughs> we would want more games like that <laughs> Yeah, and if you want to see more things gaming, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We have more gaming backlog to share with you guys, so stay tuned. But for now, this is Bina. And this is Shell. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Meow <laughs> meow. Bye.